Hola, Mike here from Pistol Monkeys. Uh, bon dia. Um, I just did a little update video on some of the things that I found with the first video I did, which was when getting my friend's Peugeot 404 um, delivered. Um, basically, this guy behind me, I wondered who it was in the cup. Well, this used to be quite a big Portuguese thing. Um, but this guy is the ex-manager of Benfica Football Club. And obviously the trophy is relating to that. But in what I found out in Portugal, it was quite common for people to put things like this or naked ladies, stuff like that, and stick them to the back of their cab. Um, and that was, that was quite a sort of like cool thing to do, a quite sort of traditional thing to do for people with trucks. Uh, the other thing uh, I noticed, I don't know if I showed it in the first video, is this V on the clock here. Um, now, I thought this was just something that someone had painted to say, if you go any faster than this, the thing will blow up, which is about right. Um, but what this what used to be done is they would, when you took the car for inspection, they would put this on to say that that is legally the speed limit maximum you're allowed to drive in this vehicle. And that would also be stamped on your logbook so that um, it was commonly known that basically if you got pulled by the police um, or stopped by anyone, they could check and see what the regi uh, registered sort of speed limit was for this vehicle. And this would be marked on there. And this was a legal marking that they put on there. Um, I mean, it's weird because literally in fourth gear, um, if you go faster than 80 kilometers an hour, it doesn't like it. It's it's happy there. So it's, it's obviously well worked out, which is uh, quite an interesting thing. The other thing I've been trying to find, but I can't find anywhere, is um, like doilies. They used to, people with uh, old cars in Portugal as part of a sort of traditional thing, again, like, you know, something that uh, a lot of people used to do, was get these um, these woven sort of uh, tapestry doilies, white ones, that you might find on like a, a tabletop or something like that. Um, and they would put them on the back parcel shelf. I suppose it's the same as um, people having a box of tissues and a, and a straw hat like you often find in the UK. But that, yeah, they used to have these doilies on the back. And also on the trucks, uh, on these pickup trucks, uh, they used to have um, a good luck symbol on the dash, normally a horseshoe or uh, a Fatima symbol or, or something to symbolize good luck basically um, which is kind of cool and um, I, I'm hoping that I find more vehicles like that because there's a lot around um, so yeah I'm hoping I find some that have been kept in that sort of pristine old-school way uh, the other thing is, um, as if you've watched my first video, is I've not seen one before, but the air filter had a layer of oil in it. And I've now learned that this is quite common on tractors and older vehicles. Uh, you have to excuse my ignorance, but I've, I've never seen a vehicle with it. But now somebody's pointed out in my, in my, uh, on the comments to my video, which is really kind of you, that it's an oil bath filter. So basically the idea is, <clears throat> the idea is that the, um, the particles of dust and dirt which tractors uh, would get a lot and especially vehicles in Portugal on the dusty roads get a lot on the dusty trails um, the particles would flow through the air filter and then get stuck in the oil and so you'd swap the oil out when you swap the air filter out and that way you constantly get this it's a really clever way of, of doing it I'm surprised that it's been discontinued to be honest maybe maybe the more recent tractors it's it's like better to just have a throwaway air filter and things like that and not have oil anywhere near it but uh, the simplicity is amazing really so um, this was just a little video to tell you a bit more about the Peugeot 404 like I said I've already done the first video on it so if you haven't seen it and you're watching this you're probably thinking what's going on um, check out my first video have a look hope you like it um, and yeah give us any sort of uh, any questions or queries just give us a shout or any information you can tell me because I'm new to this country um, I'm always willing to hear and I would love to hear from anybody who's got projects or anything like that that I could come and film and sort of see a bit more about Portugal culture in, in motorsports and cars and vans and things like that I, it just interests me thank you for watching and um, yeah like and subscribe as they say bon dia